So probably by now you've been seeing a lot of this matter thing in the smart home and well, why does it matter? Yeah, we're trying to stop with some of the stupid puns about the names. I mean, because even Facebook decided to make a new thing called Thread, which is also in the smart home thing to even confuse you more. But you're probably saying, well, what is exactly is this whole matter thing? And why does it make a difference to me in the home assistant world? I mean, yeah, we have been able to just take a bunch of different products and bring it into because Home Assistant is kind of like the glue that brings it all into one interface. And if you're not a Home Assistant user and you probably pull out your phone and you've got like 10 different smart home apps and you got to remember what device is in what and everything, well, probably matter is for you. But also Home Assistant users will be able to benefit from matter too. Because matter is basically it's what things should have been years ago in the smart home world. Everything for the most part is local. And what I mean by local is that whenever you pull out your phone and or an automation runs, you don't have to hit the button, which then actually goes over your internet, goes out to some server across the, the globe or whatever it might be and then comes back to your internet and then goes to that other device to turn it on or off. And of course, if your internet doesn't work, your ISP is down, someone cuts your fiber optic outside or whatever it is, then that all just falls apart and it doesn't work. But matter changes that. It changes it where, for instance, I could take this Singled smart bulb and yo, this is not a Zigbee one, it's actually matter, it uses Wi-Fi. There's no additional radios or chips or different things in your house because pretty much you know, if you have a smart home, then you probably have Wi-Fi. I can pretty much guarantee that you do have some Wi-Fi of some sort. Same thing for this Tapo. It's a Tapo smart switch. This is a dimmer version. You can see it's got matter right there on the box. But the cool thing about that is it's matter certified. So meaning that, well, in good practice that you will be able to just go on Amazon or make later on going to Walmart, Best Buys, whatever brick and mortar stores that you happen to have around and you see a device that you want, you don't have to go, well, well does, does that work with Home Assistant and have to Google it and then go look up some bootleg list that someone's just putting affiliate links to try to sneak a thing on you. No, you just as matter. Well, just pair it up because that's what matters. And I tried to say I wouldn't do it, but that one was just, you know, it was thrown there. So we're going to take all these different devices and go through some of the things that I ran into. I don't have a whole lot of them because there's not a whole lot of matter devices out there. Now, some of them I did this Tapo. They do have a smart switch now and they have the dimmer and they have a smart plug and well then, but then there's some issues I ran into, say even the SwitchBot has a little hub, the SwitchBot, a little, it's a little display hub. Let's see if I can turn it on here, but it's just a little display, but also has a little temperature sensor and they did put the temperature sensor away from the device so it wouldn't get that heat issue from it. But then here's the problem with some of these new devices that came out. You'll notice if I take this, Lincoln, I guess it's AI dot now, is if you look at, you know, you pull the bulb out, it's got this little QR code looking thing. And that, the cool thing about that, which we'll go through, is you just scan that with your phone, it'll add it to your Wi-Fi, and then you can bring it into Alexa or Google Home or whatever it may be, because you may not be a Home Assistant user. So yep, if you're already thinking that, Hey, I've got other friends and family and everything that are asking me about this smart home stuff. And yeah, I'm deep into this home assistant deal, but I really don't want to go support their own home assistant thing. And I've, you can't really know what devices to tell them to get. Well, matter is going to be really good for them because they can just take things out the box and they can pair it up with their, you know, different voice assistants they have around the home. And it's just going to work and they don't need the other apps. Well, one issue I ran into was the SwitchBot one. You'll notice there's no QR code. Now they tell me 
the shipping models that are going out on Amazon and their website now have the actual Matter QR code in the back. Because what I had to do to put this on Matter is you actually had to pair it with their app, strike one there, because remember, we're not having to do that. We're just supposed to take out the box and pair it up with our thing without needing 10,000 different damn apps. But then you had to update the firmware on it, and then it gave you the QR code in the app, and then you had to screenshot that, and did you print it, had to print it out, or write down the code, and then you could pair it up. Yeah, that was kind of a mess, but maybe they fixed that. Um, the other thing I ran into with the Lenkine AI dot bulbs was I paired it up, there was no color. It just had the warm white. Now these are five channel bulbs. I will fire them up here because I know people are probably wondering are they great bulbs or not. Well, when I went into Home Assistant, there was no color controls and I paired it up correctly. I tried multiple times. The way I was able to fix it, yeah, get this. I had to go download the AI dot firmware software little app on my phone paired up with that once it saw the firmware upgrade then i was able to reset the bulb put it back into matter got in a home assistant and boom we had the color controls and so then i saw the tapo light switches which i think these are tp link is yeah tp link is the one that makes these i think they also did the casa ones and no, this doesn't have this long jumper. I just added this long jumper on here. It does come with these green and white jumpers on it. Um, but the problem was I went and added them up and put them into Home Assistant. And I had some issues. Yep. So guess what I did? Yep, you guessed it. Downloaded the, the little Tapo app. Went through and did the firmware upgrade. Then I reset them. I had the same issue with the smart plug. And then everything was fine and dandy after that. So what does that mean really off the jump of things with the whole matter deal? I'm going to tell you right now, I, I do appreciate you go through and look through some of the stuff and use whatever links. If you want to jump into some of the matter stuff today, I mean, especially now, I think this week they're going to be doing that uh, Amazon Prime Day or whatever. So you'll find all those links down below. But I will tell you, if you're wanting to jump into matter for the home assistant world, I would probably wait at least six months to maybe a year especially a year i think things are really going to evolve and that way you know that these devices are just going to work straight out the box the firmware is going to be ready home assistant's even going to be more ready and even if you're not a home assistant user whatever type of home automation it's going to be better to be you know matter ready as others do use it and work out all the bugs for the whole matter thing. Now, I know some of you probably be asking, what about the whole thread thing? Well, let's kind of dumb it down a little bit. Think of matter as like, kind of like Home Assistant, the whole glue that kind of puts things together and makes it all in one app. You've done things with Zigbee and that's like that local mesh protocol thing. Well, think of that as thread. And that's going to be really where I th see things going for Matter and Thread. Everything Wi-Fi based, if they can do, whether it be mains powered, that's probably going to be Wi-Fi Matter. And then, like say Aquaria, or Aquaria, or however you want to say them, I'm sure that people will tell me I'm saying it wrong, but hey, I think of Aquarium when I see their thing. This one does say Matter, but it requires a, th you can see on the back, it says red, built on thread. And what thread means is you're gonna need that secondary radio. Now, that's gonna be that little chip that, you know, the little Sky Connect for the Home Assistant users. I did try to mess around with this. It's not gonna make it into this video. I had some issues, it's really not ready yet. Um, the, I think the Alexa Echo 4th Gen has the thread radio in it. And I think some of the Google Hubs you have to check their page. Some of them also have the thread radio built into them so you can pair these up. The thread stuff's gonna be really great for your battery power devices. That's gonna be like your temperature sensors, your door and contact sensors, uh, motion detection sensors. You know, something you could put around the house and you don't have anywhere to plug in things. That's gonna be where thread's really gonna shine until maybe later on when we get 
more into the Wi-Fi 6 thing, but that's a whole different deal. So enough about this matter stuff. I want to go pair and show you how easy some of this stuff is with trying to pair up these things with Home Assistant in the matter world, which is really, this is also going to apply if you don't use Home Assistant or, you know, say you're, you know, for a family member that you don't want to put Home Assistant. And I truly understand that because I do that myself. I'm like, just go get an Alexa thing or Google Home and call it a day. Um, we're going to power up some of this stuff. I've got my little test board here. And um, so... We'll throw these in and bring it right into Home Assistant. Now, one thing I'm going to change, I'm not going to use my little test board. I'm just going to use this lamp. Very simple to operate. Now, the one thing that you're going to don't do what I did, especially when you're trying to pair it bulbs, since the QR code is on the neck of the bulb, well, if you stuck it up in like a ceiling fan that has a cover over it, you're not going to be able to use your camera on your phone and scan that QR code. So basically what you would need to do if you have this issue and you don't have a lamp to pair it up with and try first is you need to write down this code on the neck and that way you could just enter that in. So this one's probably a five cycle. We'll turn it off and on several times and get it to cycle. You should notice I didn't do anything with my phone here. It's already saying to set up the QR code to scan your matter device. Just have your phone nearby the device. It'll pop straight up. I'm assuming that's going to work the same on iOS. I don't have iOS. So if you know how that works, shoot me down in the comment down below. I thought this was cool. It just pops right up on your phone. So we're, I'm going to do scan QR code. Now I'm going to cover the light because I found that, of course, the light blows out the camera. and doesn't let you scan the QR code. And also one thing to note, you do need to have your phone on the same Wi-Fi that you be putting the bulb on. If you have multiple SSIDs, it needs to be a capable 2.4 gigahertz. Don't try this on just a five gigahertz only SSID. That's the one thing that's kind of a pain with the whole matter thing, especially if you have split networks and you got the IOT thing network and all that. You need it to be able to access all of that and work across if you're doing those VLAN things. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. It's asking me if I want to do Google Home or the AI Dot app. Well, I don't want to use their app. I'm trying to do it with Home Assistant. Now, of course, if I think if I had Alexa stuff, it may also show, but I don't. I'm just going to go through here and do Home Assistant. Yeah, I definitely don't add it to, to you. And it will get us show, it's going to show the device, like it'll show like the little picture of it, which is kind of cool. And it will take a little bit to go through, but you'll see, you know, we'll fast forward through some of this and then jump to the different parts, but it will join the network, hit done. And then it's going to say, well, do I want to add this to Home Assistant? Yep, I'm going to add device. This can may take a little bit longer, but you'll see the bulb, I think it starts to blink once it adds into Home Assistant. So yep, there we go. Got the dumb little party icon on there that's annoying at times, but uh, that's a whole Discord thing. Um, so once you hit continue, it will just be in your Matter integrations. So I've got four devices in here right now. Let's go to the bulb. And we should have Smart RGBTW. And we can turn it down. We should be able to see in frame. I'm hoping it was. And we should be able to change the color to basically whatever we want. But the cool thing is this is all local. We're not tying this with any other apps or anything like that. We're doing this all straight over matter with Home Assistant. It's pretty cool to see this finally come to fruition without having to do a bunch of damn jumping through hoops. Well, I guess putting the different farmer on it, but maybe by the time that you get to try some of this, it, you won't have this issue at all. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we're able to do this and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it get better. That's, I mean, it's going to, I mean, it's kind of, this is the future of finally here for the whole smart home deal. Um, now I do have, 
I know I talked about the three different bulbs. Well, this is the third. My reference bulb is a SwitchBot Wi-Fi bulb with Tasmoda ESP Home on it. I'll do a quick little, while I'm talking here, I'll throw in some clips to show the difference, the reference kind of of these bulbs of, and I'll label them which one is which for a quick little reference. But if you're looking for a more in-depth thing, maybe we'll do some different bulb comparisons in the future. Let me know down below if you'd like to be, you know, see something like this, do that again in the future. So of course you can find all the links to all this stuff down below if you wanna jump into the whole matter thing. And those are affiliate links down there and there's no additional cost to you and I do appreciate it. So thanks to all the Patreon members, YouTube subscribers and everything, we definitely couldn't do it without you. And yep, if you're not subscribed, smash all them buttons down there and y'all take care. You know how to work this? Yes. You close the door. Oh, that door. This door? Which one we go to? Four? What's that switch do? Is that an ejecto seat? Ejecto seat on cut! Does that call his phone? Now how do we get out, bro? It doesn't open by itself? Uh oh. We're gonna push the button or something? Probably this is gonna be a long video. We're not gonna make a long video. How about that? We gotta push though. You gotta push the button. Over here, push forward. Now open it. There you go. Wait, we gotta close this. Close that. Let's go to three. Which which one? This way? Is it that way? Oh, not that way. Close the door. It doesn't open by itself. Uh oh. Is it that way? Oh, not that way. Close the door. Probably this is gonna be a long video. It doesn't open by itself. Uh oh. This one. Yeah, push three again. Oh. I want to show him a secret room. Secret room? Hey. No, this room. What? I can show you how you can get all the way over there. Where? Where?